On my birthday this year, my last girlfriend, she told me we were out of toilet paper and we needed lube, but that's all we needed. So I go to the supermarket and I'm just walking around with this big bag of toilet paper and just a bottle of lube. And then the cashier looks at me and she started to say something, but before she could, I was like, it's my birthday! I needed something else like broccoli, but I didn't buy it because then I knew she'd think that's the thing I was gonna fuck. <laughs> like, I try not to be creepy. I just fail every time. I was on a box and I'm staring at some girl and fantasizing, but then I noticed this other dude staring at that same girl and fantasizing. Which is weird, because now I feel like I'm in a psychic gangbang. <laughs> and me and a homeless dude are spit-roasting a chick on a bus in our minds. And then the guy looks at me and he goes, yeah! But I didn't know what to do, so I was just like, yeah! I got blackout drunk at my high school prom, blackout drunk. And my last memory was getting in bed beside my date. And then I wake up the next morning and she's on the sofa. Because apparently, I don't know if this ever happened to you, but at some point, like throughout the night, I like caroused to her side of the bed. And then I started like seductively rubbing down her back. And then I uh, pissed myself. <laughs> Because, you know, after six shots of Jägermeister, my go-to move is some kind of sneaky golden shower. <laughs> like, that's just my move. No, baby, you're making me wet. <laughs> but don't worry, it came full circle. Because this summer, I'm asleep on a couch, and this big hockey player, huge jock, he's sleepwalking. And I guess in his dream, he thought he was in a bathroom and I was a urinal. Because he pissed all over me. But I didn't even know this guy was sleepwalking. So all I see is him stare me in the eyes, come towards me, and present his cock. And I was like, uh, dude, you know this is the weirdest way for you to come out of the closet, right? <laughs> but now he's just staring at me, so I have to decide, am I gonna do it? Because <laughs> if I don't, the next morning, he's gonna try to cover it up and be like, you know that queer Bobby tried to blow me? <laughs> Which created the weirdest logic I've ever thought. Because now, think about it, I was thinking about just sucking this guy's dick. Just sucking it so he did not tell my friends I'm gay. I was relieved, honestly, when the guy just pissed on me. I was like, thank God I don't have to figure out if I'm gay today!